If you are a breast cancer patient, survivor, you may have been told before to limit or avoid soy foods. Is this true? Should you really fear the soy? Well, I'm an oncology registered dietitian and I'm here to tell you that you should not fear the soy. Soy foods were originally thought to potentially increase human estrogen levels within the body because soy plants actually contain something called phytoestrogens, which literally means plant estrogen. So one would think if you're consuming a food that has plant estrogens, could this have an impact on my human estrogen levels within the body, which could impact estrogen sensitive cancers such as breast cancer. As science has improved and we've learned more about how phytoestrogens work within the body, we have learned that they do not act the same as human estrogen. And in fact, it's actually quite protective, specifically in regards to breast cancer risk. So phytoestrogens can bind to certain cell receptors on a cancer cell, but instead of acting like human estrogen and promoting cell growth for that cancer cell, phytoestrogens just kind of hang out and they prevent human estrogen from binding to that cell and promoting cell growth within that cancerous cell. And numerous observational studies have shown that women who consume higher amounts of soy foods throughout their lifetime actually have reduced risk of breast cancer and women who consume higher amounts of soy foods actually have a reduced risk of breast cancer recurrence. So there is so much good information out there to promote and include soy foods within the diet. Soy foods are very nutritious. They're high in protein. So if you're currently undergoing cancer treatment, you know how important that is. But they're also high in fiber and different vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals that are important for not just cancer risk and prevention, but overall human health. So if you have been told to avoid soy, please know this is just very outdated information and it is very safe and actually recommended to include as long as you like soy foods. So enjoy the soy, do not fear the soy.